Some of the positives, though, coming out of the game, we're going to get them in Callahan on. Let's talk about Tony Pollard first and foremost. Guys rushed for 339 yards, keeps making big plays. He can catch, he can pass protect. You score on third and 19, my goodness, coach. <laughs> Yeah, it wasn't that that uh, that call wasn't necessarily designed to score, um, but that just goes to speak about uh, what Tony's ability with the ball in his hand is. Is he can make something out of nothing, and he can make huge plays uh, when the ball is in his hand in, in 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 the run game or the pass game. And he's shown uh, an ability to really be able to lift us uh, when we've needed it. And, and he's been a really fantastic addition uh, to our offense. Speaking of the offense, one thing that you're working on that seems to be going well early. Red zone offense, eight touchdowns in 13 trips, doing a lot of things well when you get inside the 20. Yeah, that's the name of the game is you have to be able to score when you're down there. Um, you only get so many opportunities uh, over the course of a game, and when you get to, you get two or three, you should need to score on all, all of them. And, and we've done a good job of scoring when we're in the red zone. Now the, the trick is is to get down there another, More. Two, <laughs> another two, or two times, three times a game and, and keep that same consistency and efficiency up in the red zone because uh, the name of the game in this league is red zone touchdowns and, and we found a way to do it down there. Now we got to do it more often. Yeah, a lot of times that's the last thing to come for an offense. If you've got that going as you perk up everything else, that's a good thing for the time. Uh, it's a great sign for us that we can execute down there because that is probably the hardest area in the field. Um, to execute because it's shorter. There's do you have a boundary behind it that everything happens faster. The windows are tighter, um, and we found ways to score touchdowns. And so that's a very promising sign for us that you know we're, we're close. We're close to being able to do it. We just need to get down there at least one more trip right now because we're at least losing one score game. So one more trip down to the red zone I think would go a long way for us. Last point of Callahan on this defense giving up only 249 yards per game. They've been uh, outstanding and outstanding in every respect against the pass, against the run. Um, they're physical, they're aggressive, they attack, and they make plays. And we need more of that um, over the course of a game. But they've, they've, they've been everything that we've hoped they would be defensively. And again, with all the new additions and new starters, guys really gelling and playing together. A lot of credit to Denard Wilson and the job that he and his staff on defense have done, um, along with the players on the field. It's been a really good mix all the way around. So enough good parts and things happening that if you can just put that finish in there with it, you feel very optimistic about where you're going next. I do. I'm, I'm convicted. I feel great about our ability to, to close the gap and find a way to win these games because um, we're very capable of it. We have a good football team. The wins and losses haven't come our way yet, but um, I have a lot of conviction and belief that, that they're coming. And we just have to find a way to get over that hump and find a way to win those close games. Um, and once you, once you get the first one and you get some of that confidence uh, and you prove you can win a tight game, that goes a long way into being able to do it again and again in the future.